you know very well what's existing and what's not. You can distinguish between what's fake and what's real. Or the movie you're watching is a fake drama, not reality. But for your brain, it's all real. For your brain, nothing is imagination or fake. A research has been done on this in two groups of volunteers. The first group was asked to play a simple sequence of piano notes each day for five consecutive days. Their brains were scanned each day in the region connected to the finger muscles. Another set of volunteers were asked to imagine playing the notes instead of having a real piano and also having their brains scanned each day. The research shows that the changes in the brain in those who imagined playing the piano are the same as in those who actually played the piano. Your brain doesn't distinguish real from imaginary. When your brain senses the danger, the stress response evolved in you to give you the ability to fight or flee. Chemicals including cortisol and adrenaline help kickstart the body, pushing blood towards the major muscles to give you the strength. This is the same thing happens when you watch a movie with some danger visuals. Your body is also producing cortisol and adrenaline and pushing blood around the body. The same process happened inside your body whether the danger is real or imagined. It means what you imagine to be happening is actually happening as far as your brain is concerned. In an experiment of imaginary eating, Scientists showed that if a person imagined eating, imagined the entire chewing and swallowing sensations as clearly as they could, they had less appetite for more food afterwards, just as the same would be true if you had actually eaten. This has obvious implications for weight loss strategies. The brain thinks you are eating, and afterwards it turns out on the signal, I'm full. People also used this imagination strategy in a form of visualization in curing their illness. When you are going through illness in reality, you know you are ill, so as your brain knows, and it focuses on being scared and low confidence. If you visualize to imagine yourself healed or healing from illness and disease, the brain strategy involves focusing on wellness instead of illness. And this is the same thing happen when you're watching someone on the screen. Whatever you're watching on screen with the full interest and enthusiasm, you're actually living that time with that person who is acting on the screen in that moment. In reality, you are living that moment with on-screen people on your mental level. You can change anything. Thank you. Thank you so much.